Welcome to the Media Box, where I'm joined by the artist Kirsty uh, McLeod to talk about her work, uh, the red dress exhibited uh, here in, in Strasbourg. Tell us a little bit more about the project and, and what inspired it. So the red dress is nearly 14 years in the making and it has been worked on in 50 different countries by, at the moment, it's 372 different individuals from around the world. Uh, the original idea was to create a piece of work that would bring people together, so uniting people without any borders and boundaries, without any prejudice. So equality and unity were at the heart of the initial idea. Um, but over the years, uh, with more and more vulnerable voices uh, becoming involved in the project, being commissioned on to, to, to create embroideries, um, it, the project kind of steered into slightly new territories, as for those women, it became uh, a, like a, a space, a, a platform to have their voices amplified and heard. And so that's been my biggest motivation in doing this work for such a long time, is to just keep traveling and keep sharing the artist stories, um, which are remarkable, really Tell remarkable. Tell us a little bit more about, about those artists, about those stories, there's yeah. a lot of them. A lot of them. So about 60% of the work has been carried out by vulnerable women. Um, so women who are living as refugees, recovering from war, survivors of war, uh, or living in extreme poverty. Um, and most of those are supported by charities, and that's how I've been able to, to connect with them. And a lot of them are using embroidery as both a healing modality to help support the women, but also as a way to offer long-term employment. Um, so in, in all of these situations, I'm seeing time and time again where embroidery and community is, is, is at the heart of a lot of healing journeys for, for women around the world. And it took a, an awful, awful long time. Yes, yes. <laughs> I didn't even know if it would carry on for three months. Um, I hoped it would do 10 years. Um, it was slow to start, but as momentum grew, it became you know, more spread further and further, and it began to pique people's interests. And then in 2020, suddenly, I think as, as, as a result of perhaps the pandemic, the recovery from the pandemic, where people are feeling so separate that actually seeing a piece of work that does the opposite and brings people together has really chimed with a lot of people around the world. So, what does it mean uh, to you to exhibit it in, in a place like this? Yeah, it's incredible. I, can't, I keep pinching myself. It's, it's really remarkable um, to be in, in this space in this, during this session, this week particularly. It's, uh, the core values of the dress are so mirrored in everything that I'm seeing here. And, and it's a platform that I'm so excited to be able to share more about the red dress throughout the next few days. Customer Cloud, thanks very much for talking to us. Thank you so much.